All right, welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Dwarves, where things are about to hit the fan, as they say. Um, I haven't done pause yet. I just loaded it up, of course, and then hit pause or escape. So, um, we have entered a lich's cave, and I'm looking at it in the background here. Unfortunately, this is a huge cave. This is terrible. Um... Because I really wanted to, like, cave trap it and try to kill the lich that way. And this is going to be hella expensive. Like, really, really freaking expensive. So, just for for reference for this episode, we are going to... First of all, right now we're just going to play and try to beat the lich with this method. I, I don't know if it'll work. I think it will. But I have never tried to cave trap a monster before. So, let's see. Um, if it doesn't work, uh, I, I'm gonna break my rule of no safe scumming, and then we are gonna beat this lich or uh, get frustrated trying. So, I, without further ado, right now we are uh, we have the save game here. So I unpause, then we want to blow you up and close this off asap. Not even cutting corners anywhere. So. Like so, here. Of course, I still want to make it as cheap as possible, but I don't care about... Uh, normally, I, I try to do that thing where I... Uh, I go diagonally to, to leave it out as many... tiles as possible outside the, 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 the area. Uh... Wait, what? No way. Then we find another Lich's cave, but... Uh, but, but, no. Hold on. It didn't work. Are you kidding me? So now we are safe scumming, because I can't get into this cave now, and he's gonna sit there and kill my base, so we've lost. Really? You cannot... Cave trap monsters. I'm just trying some stuff here. Well, okay. Well, we have another lich. <laughs> My base isn't taking damage yet. Okay. Uh. Oh. Ah. Well. That dwarf was killed and turned into a skeleton. So I would try to cave trap this one otherwise. Ah, uh, but we, we, literally, we literally cannot win now. Like, there's no no way for my dwarves to enter this cave anymore. So we have to beat him in combat. Now we're just thinking about, well, how? How do we do that? We're gonna load in a second here. And we know... I could, when we save scum, I might uh, make sure we don't open this cave then. I don't know if... if this is this may be a good test. There's another thing that I, I had been wondering about. If I if I load the game now and then open this same cave again, I wonder if there will be a lich or if it's like a roll when you open the cave. So we've got we've got some testing to do. We've lost. Um, I died. So such is life or death. Oh well. First off is ignoring that and then coming down here and be like, where was that? Here. Can, I want to know really quickly, is this a thing? Oh, there's still a lich in here. All right. Obviously, we cannot deal with two liches at once. So the first job for today is to figure out how do we kill one lich. We call everyone back. And then we will mount an expedition like none other... Uh, like the... How? Okay, I thought it was. I thought it was like almost impossible for him to replicate that uh, in the safe here. So, but he's he's going for it. So I'm gonna send him that way, and then he shouldn't open that same cave again. I think. All right. So again, gather the dwarves, the warriors, and then we will mount that expedition from here, coming up. Like, so, oh, I misclicked. Coming up this way. Coming over this way. Uh, 
and like that. All right. And we want the warrior dwarves, obviously, too. Oh, no, I missed. There we go. More. More dwarves. All the dwarves. Now we have no, no one defended the base. Huh. And there are warriors coming. Oh, do we have a... a uh, do we have a... Uh, what's it called? A shaman too? Maybe we do. Because we, we have some shaman enemies anyway. Oh, boy. Uh, but I have more dwarves down here, apparently. Okay. So we're going to be fine at the base. I think. Then the next step is also maybe I need an outpost out here. I'm kind of wondering. We have like, what, 5, 13. So here's the thing that we are going to do. For now. To get rid of that minor dwarf in front, because he slows everything down. Nope. Please come back. What are you doing? You two. Come on. No. Uh, we are still hitting uh, water and stuff. Right now we're just testing. So, I, I don't actually expect us to beat the Lich this way. Maybe we can. I have a feeling like it's, it's not going to be enough. And the problem is also he, I think, is attacking the base. Oh, not yet, not yet. Huh, last time I thought he did it immediately, the thing. Because he has like that ghost attack where he just attacks out in the darkness. They're moving at different speeds. It's, it's like the one in front is always slowing down a bit, but look at this, the one in, in the back is trying to push up. That's kind of weird. This guy is also slower. He's level 2, but this guy's level 13. He's my highest level. 12, 12, 11... I mean, this is the, by, by far the strongest war force I have ever had, like, collected in one spot in this game. So you would think that if any group ever could do this, it would be these guys. Right, meow. Question is, will they... Two questions is, do they get there in time? Or will they get there in time? And the other one, can they beat him? We still haven't taken damage on the town hall, I think. All right. Good stuff. Obviously, we couldn't deal with another Lich in the same, at the same time. So now he's in rage mode. So now he starts attacking the base. So we, we didn't make it in time. There he goes. Pretty slow at killing it. So this would be maybe fine. We could deal with a couple of Liches. If I hadn't already lost half of the health in the base, and that that's of course due to a different problem. But yeah, that's two hits, and they're still not at the lich yet. Not even close. Okay. Yeah, they're not gonna make it. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I, if I had some critique for this game, it would be like Rage Mode, or both on the Shamans and the, and the Lich, are kind of game-breaking. You cannot beat them. Like, it's just not possible. How would I beat this guy? Well, I would need to have outposts out here, not, not singular we cannot have one outpost out here and then shoot in dwarves that's not enough it has to be uh, like probably two outposts and i would need to already have them staffed with some higher level dudes uh, maybe we can train them up before he kills the base and then kill him 
I'm not sure. But last time, like, remember last episode or last playthrough where I made a ditch? We, uh, we sent in a group of both high level, like four high level dudes and a team of low level dudes uh, with them. Like, so eight total of varying levels. And they still lost. Like, I think these guys can beat him, maybe. But he's done killing the base now. So they didn't get there in time. We'll try again. We'll try the other method then. So, first of all, let me slow down time. Let me make sure this guy doesn't open that other religious cave. I think he already had the pathing set up, and that's why he re replicates the same situation. Then we put a an outpost here. We know that they cannot reach this spot from the home base, so we have to have an outpost. We will buy dwarves, four of them, and then start training them. When we train them, they gain XP for money over time. And now we ask, how how high level do they need to be in order to beat the Lich here? Two is definitely not enough. So now we take a breather and collect our thoughts. Uh, this guy is not opening the other Lich cave right now. I will keep playing if we could be the Lich. I would like to. I just I feel like it's... It's sad that they made the game unplayable. Like, you, you gotta remember that there's a difficulty level above this, and this is just not doable. Which is really sad. Because I like this game so much. It just has these little issues. It's okay, four. They're training pretty quickly, that's nice. Probably want to go for... Six, maybe seven, eight-ish. He's sending out... So he, he can also like summon dwarves to him, then kill them and, and reanimate them. So that's another ability of his. We want to get in there before he goes into rage mode. I don't know exactly how long that is. In fact, let me ask the codex, because there is a whole thing about... Uh, do, 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 do interface, no. Monsters? Rage mode. Uh, however, they will switch into for an extended period of time. If left alone for an extended period of time, no specific timer on it. But maybe I, I could keep an eye on the, the counter up here, obviously. Okay, we are at level 5. Let's go to 6. Ah, seven. And then we'll go in. This is costing a lot of money. And if this doesn't work, then we will do the same thing again, but build two outposts out here. Which may be required. And if that's what it takes to beat a lich, and then it's doable, then I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. Right? Uh, I can I can afford it. Lava has been released. That is not good. Okay, we got lucky. So now they're level 5. Are they still training? Yes. Okay. I say we, we attack at 6. And they landed horribly. This is another problem. Obviously. Come on, guys. Oh, he summoned them. Interesting. Are they doing it? Here I'm using my new deleting arrows method in order to micromanage. And it's working. They seem to heal when he's not hitting them. So like I can do this to get... Oh, we just lost two in a row, but... No, we were so close. We were so close. I think I'm, I mis-micromanaged a little bit at the end there, and then we lost. But he's so close to death, I think we can do it with level twos here. Let's go level 3s. 
He's not in rage mode yet, so I, I jumped the gun. We can probably do it with level 7s then. They got him! Okay, with one outpost. That's... playable. Huh. Okay. I didn't think we could do it. Lich un undeaded. Interesting. And so we will keep playing. We know where there is a Lich here. I'm not gonna play towards it right now. It's fine as it is. We now know that the game is playable even with Liches in it. <laughs> yes. And we will release a dwarf here to grab that gold. Now we can start looking at other things again. We know that there was lava here, so I would like to close that off. All right. So maybe I just got it into my mind that it was unbeatable, but it clearly isn't. It's just learning the micromanagement that I just did. I've never really mastered that, but uh, that totally worked. Dwarf struck water. Okay. And we had the cooldown or the, the slowdown time on off of cooldown, so everything's fine. We beat these guys here. Look at these levels on my guys here, out here. So this is nice, of course. Um, I would like to call some of them down here, but not all of them. Hmm. No, I think we should call them, if nothing else, then to protect the outpost. What about the outpost? Didn't we have one, like, out, out here-ish? Or am I... It's been like several days now since I played, so yeah. Thought we had another outpost somewhere, huh? Maybe I'm thinking about a different game. All right then. Got a little 14 guy here, very cool. All right, state of the game. I would like to open some more. Uh, oh, did I turn off the recruitment? No, we've got to turn it off again, otherwise it keeps recruiting and paying for new recruits here. And that's not what I want. We have plenty of dwarves out and about. Opening dangerous caves. In fact, we don't have that many, but we did have one up here. I would like you to come down and tell me whether or not this is lava or water, in which case we can wall off the whole thing. I shouldn't even have built in here. This is a mistake. Because if we build around here, we could have saved these solidifiers in here. So, mistake. But. And a shaman now, okay. Didn't we have a warrior dwarf just nearby? Well, we can grab them from here now, which is closer. Closer. Yeah, I mean, this is still cheaper than building more outposts, trust me. So we are doing it like this. Uh, I will leave the rest here. So he's gonna die, but now we can wall this off. Boom. Or specifically not boom. Danger contained. So now I'm wondering, now that we know we can beat a Lich with what? We, we put down an outpost, train them up to level 6, shoot them in, and micromanagement. Probably training up to level 7 would be smarter, but then that's enough. We can do it with that, which is great to see. Gotta make sure my warrior here is getting, yep, he's getting the, to the right spot. Level 12 already, this is one of the little the guys from here they really leveled up from beating now this is the i sent in the level twos after or level three or whatever they were and some of them just spiked to level 10 and 12 that's insane so they get a lot of xp from beating a lich uh if they survive we lost the first team 
they would have been even higher level on beating him. Oh. Oh, no, no, I was too slow. Oh, oh, too bad. Okay. Uh, we were pretty close to this cave, of course. I feel like I, there's something I should have been checking and I keep forgetting. We're not close to this cave, really. Do 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 do. Okay, let's uh, pay sixty to check this cave. Okay, was ready with the trigger finger. Good stuff. Got a far a lot of far outlying caves at this point that are like lava and water. And I should start closing off something. Like this one here is pretty dangerous. Water is probably, probably at this point I'm probably ready to say that water I think is the most dangerous one because lava spurts so much slower. This one ends up costing us more money when it is inevitably open as a mistake later. And has a higher chance of if I'm not paying attention, then it will wreck the whole, uh, like, end, end the game. So that is a thing to keep in mind. Now, I, I feel weird because we save scummed, but I needed to know how to beat a lich. Now we know, and I'm not going to do it again. Next time we open the other lich cave or any lich caves later down the line, we will do it proper and accept death if it comes. Um, <clears throat> so we built an outpost. Next one will now the now the next one is costing a thousand, and the next after that is two thousand, and it will continue to rise in 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 cost. And this is why we don't just place them down willy nilly. We waited a long time. Now we have one out. Again, I really thought we had another one, but <laughs> good thing that we didn't. Honestly. This one is closed off. This one is not. This is a mess. Look at this. <laughs> uh, yeah, <clears throat> such is life. He is getting close to a cave here, but it's completely blocked off from the side. Finding a lot of gold out here, which is great. More resources here. Uh, this level 3 guy would like to check this cave. We don't have that many far out at this point, actually. When I look at it. 380 dwarves, but most of them are concentrated within this screenshot here. <laughs> and most of them are level 1, which is sad. Got a little spider here running around. It's kind of crazy how... I mean, you would think that when it meets the swarm that it goes down, but I guess not. And we got another one there. I still got just a lot of little spiders running around here and there. Kind of interesting. He's trying to get into that cave, eh? I could re release a leather dwarf here. It wouldn't be terrible. Uh, did we get closer to this one up here? Not really. Here's a level five. Could go for this one. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that method of, of blowing them up out here anymore, I think. It is wasteful, especially if we start paying uh, 50 per dwarf for those that are further out, then using them to blow up a hole near a cave in order to to save 100, that's, then it's 60 plus the 50, so then we actually lose money. So now we're, we're done with that method. Now we're just going to close off caves the good old traditional way, which means I might as well do it. Then there's no point in me holding off, except if I was out of money, which we definitely are not. So... Let's do some work since we have a quiet moment. Uh, 
And let me try to explain what I was talking about earlier. When I'm doing the diagonal in here, instead of cutting across, I'm doing a diagonal. And what it does is it takes more time, but it leaves these extra tiles out, outside, instead of closing a few more in. And, and in, in, in this case here, instead of, if we were cut across here, we would have lost uh, five tiles. And that's not a, it's not a lot, but it will add up over the entire course of the game. It is, it is um, money and it is XP for dwarves, which also turns into money, right? So uh, it is in the, in the interest of, of, of earning more money over the course of the game. We also get more points for, so for leaving them out. Now here we are cutting across because if it would cost me more money to follow the inside of the track here and that's not worth it but it's only because if we go diagonal here it costs the same as cutting straight across i hope i'm making sense i think everyone understands i hope all right here we can definitely open a cave this is not good okay yeah i did not have my uh, space bar uh slow down time thing so I was a little bit worried, but it didn't end up being too bad. Good. Uh, so I'm not in a hurry to get this done, I suppose. Let me just check around and see if we have other dwarves opening caves at this moment. We must be getting close to this one soon, I think. Yeah. And we do have some far further out now. They are spreading. This guy is level 8. 6 here. We know the Lich is here. I haven't forgotten. Oh, there will be more Liches. Also, at some point, when we get far enough out, I'm going to have to put down outposts for shamans, right? Because my... My core dwarves, or whatever you want to call them, won't be able to make it that far out before they go into rage mode and flood my base. So, at some point, we're going to have to pay even more money for, what are they called? Shamans too. Did I misclick here? Too bad. Uh, oh, and we need to blow up the dynamite, and then that one is closed off. Good stuff. So, uh, we didn't get to this one here. Yeah, I think... Oh, he's level 9. That's unfortunate. Damn. Makes me sad, because he would make me a lot of money. But it does look like he's going to go for it on him, his own, and I'm not going to stop him. We don't actually have any dwarves out in this area at all. Yeah. Like the furthest is here-ish. Okay. Well. Oh, he almost turned into it. So yeah, he's definitely... No, he's not gonna... Yeah, he turned again. Okay. Come on. And? Nothing. Okay. Good stuff, so we keep the level 9. Let me close off this water cave here. Oh, let's click. In there. And, oh, and we need to blow up all the dynamite, right? Yep, that'll happen never. <laughs> but 
But now at least they can't just willy-nilly walk into it if I'm not paying attention or something, so it is still a good thing. Oh uh oh Almost didn't catch that opening. Okay, they are honestly getting somewhat close to... Where's that lich again? The lich is here. Now, could I... Hear me out. Could I flood the lich's cave with lava? Wouldn't that be fun? We know that there's a lich here. That would be a, a fun experiment. How much would it cost if I were to guide a miner over? We want to create a tunnel, probably going from like... We would open this cave. And then cut a tunnel. No. We would cut a tunnel from here. Like out that way. Dig up this way. Here. There. No, no, no. See, the problem is, then after, um, that seems like it, it would be fun, we could lead lava this way down, put a, a hole in the ground here, and then uh, with a dwarf on the other side, which, again, getting the dwarves over here just to do that is, is expensive in its own, then put a hole in, have another dwarf on the other side who then digs into the shaman or religious layer. We will probably put the hole here. And then he gets flooded with lava and dies. Good. Then after the fact, I need to wall and sort off that whole thing. Solidify and cave trap it. And that would be so freaking expensive. It cannot be worth it. Yeah. Maybe if this cave here was lava, we might want to check that before we open the Lich's Gate. Now, that would be interesting. And this is honestly a good idea then to have this lava cave open here. Because if it turns out there's a Lich in here, then we could do some shuffling. Some stuff like that. That may be what we're thinking about. Like if there's a Lich in here, then they're right next to each other. But then still I need to solidify around that, right? And then will it be cheaper than an outpost? Taking in the, uh, into account the escalating cost of the outpost, then maybe, maybe, probably not. It would have to be like a perfect setup. It would be fun, though. We are going to open this cave while I am here to check on him. Got it. Okay. More lava. This one could be problematic. I'm going to close it off. We have, a lot, we have a lot of dwarves in this general area. I'm here, here, Good stuff. Oh, what is this? Oh, a hole is closing. Huh. I didn't realize we had holes in here, but it doesn't really matter. Look at how big my base is becoming, though. That's amazing. Definitely also the biggest base I've ever had. Okay, he might open this cave over here for me. Good. A hole has been shut down by grass. Shut, shut ground. Grown. Shut grown by grass. I think that's a uh, incorrect way of saying that. I'm not sure. All right, I uh, we have to end the episode here. So this was some lich experimentation. I hope you all enjoyed it. We've learned some things, I think, and uh, I'm still gonna continue this playthrough. So see you tomorrow and.